space tourism is still a world of fantasy for many people around. Mostly a unexperienced charm, recreation, and observations beyond this human living globe. It's a rapidly growing industry that blends aerospace technology with luxury travel. Space tours can be of three types. One, suborbital flights, a short trips that reach the edge of space, approximately 100 kilometers above Earth. O passengers experience weightlessness for a few minutes and see Earth's curvature. O companies, Blue Origin, New Shepard, Virgin Galactic, Spaceship Two. Two, orbital flights are longer trips where tourists orbit Earth, like astronauts. O lasts from a few days to weeks. O much more expensive and requires training. O such as SpaceX's Crew Dragon private missions, past trips to the ISS, with Roscosmos. Three, lunar and beyond, future, O planned missions around the moon, or even to Mars in the long run. O such as SpaceX's Dear Moon Project aims to take artists around the moon. It is a expensive but a realistic adventure, can cost up to $250,000 to $500,000 per seat for suborbital flight, and tens of millions of dollars such as ISS trips, approximately $55 million for orbital flights but prices are expected to fall as technology advances in future. Who are the notable space tourists? Dennis Tito was the first space tourist paid approximately $20 million to visit the ISS. Later by an arrangement with space tourism company Space Adventures, LTD Tito joined the Soyuz TM-32 mission, which launched on April 28, 2001. The spacecraft docked with the International Space Station. Tito and his fellow cosmonauts spent seven days 22 hours, 4 minutes in space, and orbited the Earth 128 times. Tito performed several scientific experiments in orbit that he said would be useful for his company and business. Secondly, Yusaku Maizawa, a Japanese billionaire who visited the ISS and also funded the upcoming Dear Moon mission with SpaceX. In December 2021, he stayed for 12 days in a space journey. However, the Dear Moon project, which was scheduled for 2023, and aimed to take Mazawa and eight artists around the moon, was canceled in June 2024 due to developmental delays with SpaceX's Starship. Blue Origin tourists carried dozens of people, including William Shatner, flew to the edge of space. Virgin Galactic Tourists Incorporated in 2023 also carried civilian suborbital flights for paying customers. And the fifth one, SpaceX Inspiration, four crew founded in 2021, is the first all-civilian orbital mission funded by Jared Isaacman. The commercial space tourism inspires innovation in aerospace tech. It creates potential to lower costs of space access and provides unique experiences that expand human perspective. Space tourism, is it really the future? Just like airplanes were once for the rich only, space travel could get cheaper as technology improves and more companies enter the race. Billionaire-backed companies, SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, are pouring billions into making space accessible. Many people dream of experiencing space. Surveys show strong interest, especially among the wealthy early adopters. Reusable rockets like SpaceX's Falcon 9 already cut launch costs dramatically. Some futurists believe space tourism is the first step toward colonization of the moon, Mars, or private space stations. In the near future, space tourism will remain a luxury adventure for millionaires. But in the long term, if technology keeps advancing and costs fall, it could become a mainstream experience. Beyond leisure, this industry will also help build the tech needed for space hotels, lunar bases, and maybe even Mars missions. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for watching informative videos.